Alright, what's up everybody? I'm not going to get too long in the video. I'm going to just keep it short, detailed, real simple. Um, just some future updates on the, on the court. I haven't posted in a while. So, uh, streetcar takeovers this weekend. So, I took it to my tuner today and got a retune. Add a few more pounds of boost. It's up to 22 pounds right now. Completely stock motor. Stock head, just ARP studs, head gaskets. Um, I redid the whole front end this past weekend. New subframe, upper and lower control learns, ball joints, tie rods, everything. Bushings, literally the whole front end is fucking never done. And so I got alignment as you could tell. It's not sticking out as much as it was previously on the other videos. So I got that straightened out drives a whole lot straighter it's not all over the road anymore when i'm fucking getting to boost and stuff like that or it started spinning i was having issues like literally just all over the road like that not necessarily torque steer i know what torque steer is it was just the whole front end was shot bushings were bad the subframe was cracked all that shit so um let me show you the subframe that i did take off like i said i did re I replace rear mount upper lower control arms all that shit this is my subframe. Oh, that subframe has a crack on it. I didn't want to be, you know, going 140 plus miles per hour with a cracked subframe. So, definitely have to get that fixed. Um, I did upgrade to solid motor mounts. I'm waiting on the driver mount because fucking eBay sent me the wrong shit. So, uh, I did innovative uh, mounts, 75As. They vibrate like hell. Like fucking hell. It's like my damn chair is like a fucking vibrator in my, my damn driver's seat. Dude. It's like, but other than that, it, it feels a whole lot better and stable when I'm driving it, going through the gears. So that's a good thing. Um, other thing, I did go up on the boost on, a, on my tune today. I'm up to 22 pounds. It's a stock motor, stock head, just ARP studs. A lot of people don't think these motors make power or have potential so I'm here to prove that they fucking do so I'm on the GT 3582 turbo it's a 62 millimeter so got that um, on E85 fuel got a 450 pump comp stage 4 clutch I'm on a prelude trans you know just little stuff here and there that makes the car go fast you know, like I said, it's, it's been a setup I've been working on for quite a while. I'm not 100% done with it yet, but it's getting there. But just to give you guys a quick update, not too nothing crazy. You know, I did get alignment. I did replace my ball joints, everything on the front end is fucking new. So frame everything. So it's a streetcar takeover this weekend, so I'm going to get ready to take it out there this weekend. Hopefully bust out like a 12.5 or something like that. Maybe, I don't know. Let's we'll see. We we'll see how these tires look. I'm going to lower the pressure on these tires. Probably like 16 or 17 PSI on tires just to get it to hook good enough when I'm going down the track. But other than that, she's coming together. So, thumbs up for the F Series, guys. Got to represent.